Hello all. In the previous video, we have seen the different signs of food spoilage. Now here, let's have a quick look at the reasons for food spoilage. Whatever be the cause for food spoilage, there are several factors which actually help the food to deteriorate faster or spoil faster. These factors can be grouped as extrinsic and intrinsic. Extrinsic factors are those which are external to the food. That is, they are present in the environment of the food, either during the food preparation or during the food processing, food harvesting, during the storage of the food. So these factors include the temperature of the room or the humidity of the room, the oxygen content, the light, the intensity of light that is present in the room. These are all the extrinsic or the external factors which can aid spoilage. We also have intrinsic or internal factors, factors which are in the food itself, which can again help in the spoilage. For example, the pH of the food or the water activity. Water activity is the amount of available water. If the amount of available water is more, then that allows microorganisms to grow better and then helps in faster spoilage of the food. So water activity is yet another intrinsic factor which is very crucial for spoilage to occur. It can also be the structure of the food. For example, an, a natural covering. We know that some foods like the eggs have an eggshell or bananas have a skin on them. These are natural coverings which protect the food from external influences or from organisms from entering in. But if there is any kind of break or crack in these external coverings, then that again can aid in the spoilage. Even the nutrient content, some foods are more prone to spoilage because they have more nutrient content in comparison to other foods. So the internal factors of the food which are aiding the spoilage, those are called as the intrinsic factors and extrinsic factors are the external or the environment factors which are helping or deteriorating the food faster. Now, there are main three reasons for spoilage. Those are the physical, chemical and biological reasons. We look at each one of these in detail. Physical reasons are more related to uh, the temperature or the humidity or any kind of injury that is caused to the food. Chemical reasons are due to the chemicals that are present in food. It can be introduced from outside or at times it might be due to internal, the food's own chemicals as well. So, chemical spoilage or chemical causes of spoilage are either intrinsic or they may be extrinsic mostly they are intrinsic physical causes for spoilage are because of the extrinsic factors that are present in the environment and biological factors or biological reasons for spoilage can be either intrinsic because they are already present in the food or it may come from outside as well so let's look at each one of these in detail we'll first see the physical causes physical causes of spoilage include injury to the food so any kind of cut or break during the harvesting any damage any damage that occurs to the food like you can see over here there is a crack in the skin of the tomato which has aided or which has helped the microorganism the fungus to start growing this is an example of injury to the food so any kind of damage to the fruits or the vegetables during their harvesting during the processing during the distribution even any kind of cut that occurs in the you know in in the meat or any other food accelerates the spoilage by microorganisms like you can see in the picture over here the second example for physical cause is the light so light causes photo degradation or photo oxidation of the outer layers of food this is especially seen in case of meat it causes discoloration and even loss of flavor as well as nutrients so when the foods are exposed to high light intensity it often causes their deterioration and faster spoilage we can see this example in supermarkets where the meat items or food items are stored at a much higher light intensity than actually what is recommended so it causes you can see that the meat would have got bleached out or it would be looking very pale in color it is because the light has photo degraded all the pigments in the food and slowly the food quality also starts deteriorating the temperature temperature is a very crucial aspect for causing spoilage because food deteriorates or spoils faster at higher temperatures it's very well known that higher temperature causes more of reactions to occur inside causes more of microorganisms to grow so higher temperatures usually aid or increase the spoilage humidity is again one more factor humidity in the environment that is the moisture in the air in which the food has been kept is again 
something that supports the microorganisms growth so humidity is also a factor for deciding whether a food will get spoiled or not you might have seen this with respect to you know spice powders or biscuits or bread or grains items which are normally kept dry if you expose them to humidity if you keep them in an, in a room or in an environment which has a lot of moisture in it they immediately start showing fungal growth or spoilage it's because of the high humidity lastly the time of storage so you cannot have infinite time of storage most foods have an expiry date or you know the the time of storage is limited so we cannot keep storing them for a very long period of time it should the time of storage should not be too high because if it is then beyond a point organisms do get in and the food starts getting spoiled the next set of causes are the chemical causes chemical causes are due to either enzymes which are present in the food so they are intrinsic or they may be due to some chemicals which have been introduced from outside but those are the chemical contaminants here we are mainly talking about the intrinsic chemical causes that is chemicals or any kind of chemical reactions happening in the food due to the food's property for for example ripening we can see that ripening of food happens faster like the bananas are ripening here faster and faster it is due to the enzymes and the hormones that are present in the food for example ethylene is a gas that is involved in ripening of the food so if you leave the food for a long period of time if you remember from the previous slide time is also an important factor if you leave it for a long period of time ripening occurs quickly and then ultimately the food gets spoiled so ripening happens due to hormones and enzymes that are present in the food and which occurs at a faster rate if you keep it for a long period of time the second example or the second cause the chemical cause is oxidation this is mainly seen with respect to foods which are high in lipid so when such foods for example butter or cheese or any any other food which is high in lipids if you keep them or you expose them to oxygen and if you expose them to light for a long period of time the enzymes in the food start reacting with it and it oxidizes the fats or it oxidizes the uh, lipids over there leading to a rancid odor now here the chemical reaction is happening due to enzymes within the food but on exposure to light and oxygen so you, you have something called as the enzymatic oxidation which leads to a rancid odor or essentially the spoilage of that particular fatty food another example we have is enzymatic browning which is seen in case of fruits like apples or vegetables like brinjal where you, if you keep the food if you cut the food and you leave it in the presence of oxygen and light again you have browning that occurs this again is due to enzymes which are present within the food but the chemical reaction is happening when it comes in contact with oxygen or with light so these are all examples of chemical causes of spoilage if you don't take care of it immediately then eventually the food will get spoiled and the food will be unfit for consumption by human beings the last set of causes are the biological causes very very important causes biological causes can include microorganisms which i have dealt with in detail in a different video where i have spoken to you about the different pathogenic microorganisms that is organisms which can cause a lot of diseases that is one group of microorganisms we also have microorganisms that cause spoilage so we have molds which grow on the food we have bacteria which grow in the food and which spoil the food which deteriorate the texture of the food which deteriorate the quality of the food the taste it leads to an off odor it is because microorganisms are growing over there they are releasing their metabolites and these metabolites from the bacteria the fungi the yeast enter into the food and they are basically utilizing the nutrients in the food so your food quality comes down that is called as spoilage i have already told you about this when microorganisms grow in food either it can just cause spoilage or it can be a pathogen growing in the food which can even cause a disease when you eat such a type of food so those are the microorganisms and these microorganisms can be either present in the food for example if you take a meat item the meat may have organisms over there so there can be organisms already present in the food or if you take fruits fruits have usually have yeast on their covering microorganisms are intrinsically present they are already present in the food or it may be externally 
uh, introduced for example from the environment from the food handler they may be introduced so microorganisms may be either intrinsic or extrinsic but they do cause spoilage we can also have other biological causes for example we can have critters like insects and rodents which come over there these contaminate the food because they move from the waste they grow in areas where there is waste they also grow in areas where there is food so they are just transmitting organisms from one place to the other when they eat such a type of food or when uh, they feed on such food they partially eat it they even touch it they are introducing a lot of microorganisms over there they are introducing a lot of you know disease causing pathogens over there so insects and rodents are also very much involved in causing decay or spoilage of food these were the causes of food and the factors that aid in food spoilage the physical causes the chemical causes and the biological causes which are involved in deteriorating or spoiling of food what is food spoilage again food spoilage is when the food undergoes a transformation it undergoes a change which now makes it undesirable or unfit for human consumption i hope this video was useful to all of you see you all in the next one as well bye